G'day guys, how you going? Um, I'm Isky and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, and you read the title right, um, I found two Screen Technics 150 inch 4-3 aspect ratio uh, screens, projector screens, motorized ones at the dump. And they cost uh, over $3,000 each. And someone just threw them away. And I was lucky enough to be there um, just after they dumped them and I picked them up. Uh, the funny thing is, um, the lucky thing is, is you know I drove in there and I didn't know what they were. I saw them at the the e waste section. They were these incredibly long black, you know, canister things, and uh, I didn't know what they were. I had to actually look at them and pick them up. They were so heavy. And once I looked underneath and saw the actual roll, I just couldn't get out of there fast enough. I threw them in the back of the van because within, I'd say, the next 30 minutes, they would have been picked up, taken up to the steel and crushed, pushed up by the bulldozer. And yeah, it's sad. That's what happens. It's such a throwaway society. But um, I grabbed them both. <laughs> I got them in the back of my van. Uh, they were so long, they were pushing up against the actual gear stick. I could hardly change gears, but I could, you know, at least get out of the dump and I made it all the way home. So got lucky. So yeah, interesting, hey, it's just the coolest thing that I found these screens and you're probably wondering, you know, well, why are you so happy? They're 4-3 aspect ratio, but um, I don't care. I'm going to keep one for myself. In fact, um, it was a couple of weeks ago, I had a friend over. I had just built uh, the framing to install one of these screens in my ceiling because I'm building a home cinema at the moment. I'm building this massive home cinema. It's just there. I'm looking at it. I'll take you in there shortly and show you. But I spent an entire week framing out and trying to work out how I could get this screen up in between the floor joists. And that's what I did. I actually framed it up. I had a mate of mine. He came over and um, we, we lifted it up, got it in there and spent all afternoon just just in awe. We couldn't believe how amazing it looked. So that's really cool. Um, there's a separate video for that somewhere, so check that out. But um, yeah, so I install that in my cinema. Like I said, I'm building this home cinema. I'm actually doing it on YouTube. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, please subscribe and check it out. But at the moment, we are actually in, if I just get this camera, we are in my showroom. I actually make women's steel boned corsetry for a living. I can see it all over here. I make this stuff, design it and girls come over and I lace them up in it. <laughs> it's pretty hard, pretty hard life. But um, listen, if we turn around here, you can actually see half that wall is missing and there's a room on the other side. And uh, in fact, you can see there's some projectors up there. Actually, that, that um, image that you saw, that little clip that I played before, that was being played from this projector here. And uh, that is an Epson EHTW for 4500. It's an amazing project. It's got incredible black levels. It's only 1600 lumens though. But I'll tell you what, on that massive screen, it didn't seem like it. It lit it up perfectly. So I'm so happy with that. So what I might do is actually bring you down here now. We'll just come down and have a look there. You can actually see I've actually built, I've actually built a, a frame. Um, and I've done that in another video that I've, I've just released. It's a really cool video where I'm building this entire cinema. It's called a junkyard cinema. It's just a basic cinema that I'm building to um, help me build this main cinema where I'm going to be doing all of this incredible timber work. Uh, but I do need a, you know, a screen, an image, and I need the sound, audio, etc., to aid me in building my final cinema. So I thought I'm just going to build a basic cinema to help me build my final cinema, and it's called a junkyard cinema for free. But in the first video of the junkyard cinema for free, I actually built that frame, that screen frame, and I'm actually going to be using this in my final build, in my really good build and that is a 180 inch 16.9 screen. And you can see, if you have a look at this white perimeter, it is actually alloy and it's attached to some pine. I do this really in-depth video where I'm actually building this. It's awesome, check that out if you like this kind of stuff. But what I thought I would do is grab this remote control for this screen that I found at the dump, and I thought I'm going to roll this out 
and show you exactly you know how big it is compared to the 180 so let's have a look and compared to me by the way so you can just imagine when I was watching this Justice League which is in the same aspect ratio that IMAX aspect ratio um, I was just in these seats here and I was just like it was the closest thing to IMAX I think anyone could probably get at home. I mean, seriously, it was so cool. And that's one of the reasons um, I decided to stick this screen in the ceiling. So that's a really cool thing. But there you go. Look how much, you know, well, you can see how much bigger the 180-inch screen is to it. But basically, they're almost the same height, okay? They're almost, this screen here that I found at the dump is almost the same height as the 180 inch 16.9 uh, screen that I just made. Well, at least the frame that I just made. And that's a really, it's really cool. But um, did you see exactly, well, I didn't even show you this. Did you see where I made, I've actually tuned this screen that I found at the dump. I've made it so that it stops about three millimeters off the carpet. It's amazing. It stops like three millimeters off the carpet. And once I've actually put some MDF on the bottom of this front soffit, like I've, well, basically like that is on the side there. It's not really on there properly. But once there's MDF there, we have a 15 mil border projecting directly underneath and that continues all the way around. So it looks like it's been made specifically for this area. It's so cool. And that's why I've got that speaker there because if I had the speaker behind it, because this one here, the 180 inch screen that I'm making, um, it's gonna be an acoustically transparent screen. But um, yeah, you can't actually hear anything. You can't, the center speaker has to be in front of, you know, that particular screen because it's not audio transparent. And even though it's not a dedicated center speaker it's actually one of two that I found I found a couple of really nice missions at this at the dump so I'm going to use those well at least one of them as a center speaker for the, for a little while and we've got some other nice speakers on the side that I'm going to use for the left and right but um there you go how cool is that I found that I found that at the dump in fact like I said I found two of them they cost over three thousand dollars each so that's the one I'm keeping let me introduce you to number two, which is just there on the carpet. That's it, that's the second one that I found. Can't believe I, I picked these up at the dump and got them into the cart. They're heavy, you know, you need two people to lift these basically. But um, listen, I've said it in other videos because this, <laughs> this channel's all about dump rating and, and home cinemas and so forth. But um, when, you, when you're at the dump, um, you turn into a bit of a he-man. <laughs> Can, you get all this adrenaline and you can pick stuff up that you would normally wouldn't be able to pick up on your own um, and get it away. So the interesting thing is when you actually get home, you can't lift it because you don't have that adrenaline anymore. You basically, you, 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 I have to go next door and get my mate, my, my neighbour to help me pull stuff out. He's always saying, well, how did you get it in here? <laughs> and I, listen, I had all this adrenaline, mate. I had all this adrenaline. So it's actually pretty funny. But um, so that's the second one. Now, I'll tell you what the deal is when I found these screens. Now, my screen was fine. Well, no, my screen, it was exactly like this screen, to be honest with you. But um, my screen worked fine once I got it going. But um, check this out. You can see here, this is where the power cord was. So whoever tossed them, they actually cut them at the base there. They cut the power cord off. Um, which to me, for me, it's not a big deal. It's that's what I do in this channel. I find this cool, you know, gear and I fix it, and that's a, just a standard thing that I do. So I replaced that on my lonesome, did it myself, and that was easy. That was simple. But um, what they also did is there's normally an IR receiver, like a cable that comes out, a white cable with an IR receiver on it. Well, they cut that as well. So I had to buy one of those. And I think I paid $30 for that on eBay. I found one, so it was a brand new one someone was selling. I Listen, I found these screens over a year ago now. Um, I think I mentioned that in the beginning of this video, but um, I've been looking for such a long time on eBay trying to get some deals, and that was one of the deals that I got. So I got that IR receiver for 30 bucks because I think it's normally over $100 to buy one. Um, but the other thing that it didn't have was a remote control. So I had to actually buy a remote control. That's it there. 
I found that on eBay, it's a used one. Um, I actually found two, well, the same guy who sold me this. I didn't even realize it at the time, but he sent out two. That was a real good score, so I got two for 20 bucks. How good was that? And uh, the other thing that these screens didn't come with, actually, was um, brackets, wall mounts. So I had to buy some wall mounts for my screen, and they cost like $160. I actually had to go to, you know, I rang up uh, screen techniques and they sent out some some wall mounts for me and they were so expensive like three wall mounts cost me I think about a hundred and sixty dollars I think it was more like no I think it was more like two hundred dollars once you factor in the delivery in, in GST so all up for my screen for this screen here I spent two hundred and fifty dollars okay so I didn't get it for free in the end but hey listen you're not going to get much better than that, are you? So I was more than happy to pay that. And, um, <laughs> well, listen, you saw that little clip that I played at the beginning of this video. It was worth it. Seriously, it was. Now, the other thing that I'm going to be doing is um, I'm actually going to be doing a set of videos, YouTube videos, on this particular screen here. In fact, I've made them already. There's, I think, four or five videos. I'm not really sure. But this particular screen here had a couple more problems. So this particular screen, um, what was the first problem? So the first problem was, <laughs> it was, well, I'm embarrassed to say, but my friend and myself, we actually cut the bottom corner on this screen. It was embarrassing. I'm not going to go into it right now, but basically we wrecked it. We wrecked the screen. It was right down the bottom on the bottom corner, but that was okay. I wasn't even concerned. I didn't care. And it wasn't because I didn't pay for it. It was because I had planned on cutting this screen back anyway. So any damage that I did to the bottom of the screen, um, it didn't matter. So what I've done with this screen, because I have to sell this screen, right? I can't really do anything with it. Um, I was thinking about putting it on my deck. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think I will. I'll probably sell it. But um, yeah, so basically, who wants to buy a 4-3 aspect ratio? Who wants to buy this old school screen aspect ratio, right? Because none, none, hardly any of the movies. I mean, Justice League came out just recently and it was shot in this exact um, ratio, this IMAX, you know, ratio and loved it. The old school, because I'm like, I love my Star Trek, my... Um, my next generation, my old school TV shows, you know, I love those things. So that's another reason why I wanted to keep this screen um, so I could have a dedicated, you know, <laughs> old school TV show screen. Not to mention the other, re there's another, there's a couple of reasons. I'm actually hoping that my channel might actually grow and eventually I may even do some projector reviews. And I think it would be really cool to be able to project onto a few different types of surfaces, like an acoustically transparent screen, as well as, you know, this particular screen. But hey, listen, we're getting off the topic again. So yeah, so I actually, I have actually made a video of me cutting this down. So like I said, this here was a 150 inch 4.3 screen Technic screen that cost 3,000, well over three, they're just over $3,000. I cut it down to be a 137 inch 16.9 screen. I did that, I didn't go cinemascope. I thought, hey, listen, if somebody wants to have a cinemascope, they can cut it down, but I'm gonna keep it, you know, 16.9. So I did it and it looks amazing. I couldn't believe how well it turned out. In fact, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between what I did and the factory. It looks factory, it looked so good, so. That was a really cool thing that I did that. So there wasn't any videos on YouTube of anybody else doing that. So I pioneered doing that as well. So that was really cool. I'll actually stick that video on shortly so you guys can see that. So if you're interested in doing that, please subscribe and, and you know check it out. Uh, the other thing, there was another issue with this screen and this is the reason why we actually damaged the bottom corner. Um, and that was that this screen, actually, the motor was stuffed. Uh, we were actually holding it up in the air and we decided to actually um, drop the screen with the remote and to retract it. I just wanted to make sure it worked like my other one did, but it didn't. <laughs> it actually went all the way down, but it didn't come up and we were just left holding the screen and it's so heavy. It, eventually it dropped. 
Um, I'm not going to go into it any more than that. So we marked it. That's how it got marked. But um, yeah, why didn't it? Why didn't it actually retract? Why didn't the motor bring the screen up? Well, I worked out that it's a motor issue, and um, I knew exactly why. There is something in most of these electrical devices that have motors in them called a start motor capacitor. And the capacitor was just done. It was dead. It needed to be replaced. And those things only cost a few dollars. And so I actually, you know, sent Screen Technics an email asking them a little bit of advice. I mean, is the motor capacitor inside the motor itself or is it on the outside? I just wanted to get a heads up. And they asked me to call them back and I did. And they said, listen, they didn't really tell me anything to be honest with you. They just wanted to sell me a new motor. And I was like, hang on, how much is a new motor? And they were like uh, $350, which is more like $500 when you you know add on the, um, oh no, it's more like $450 when you add on the, um, uh, the delivery because they're so heavy as well as the um, GST. So $450 they wanted to charge me for a new motor. And I said, hey, listen, I can fix it with just a capacitor. I mean, it, I'll fix it for three, uh, you know, a few bucks. And in the end, I made a video of me doing it. It was a po another pioneer video. I've never seen anybody re you know, replace a start capacitor in a projector screen. And I'm sure there's tons of these screens out there that need that, you know, I think that video is gonna be really popular. Um, so there, so I actually replaced it. It was a really long video though, because it was basically, it was me trying to work out how to do it because it was the very first time I've ever done anything like that. It took like easily two hours, um, but I've cut it down to about an hour long video of me doing it. And then there's another video of me putting it back together. But um, yeah, it was a long video. Hey, listen, I'm actually, I'm actually going to do the same thing to my screen. I'm actually gonna replace the capacitor in this screen here. And now that I know how to do it, I'll tell you now, it will be an extra two minutes work than if you were to just replace the motor. Because hey, listen, you have to go into these if you have a problem where your screen's not going up, it's definitely it's definitely the, the 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 start capacitor more than likely the start capacitor, right? So, if you're going to replace the motor like these screen companies want you to, they just want to make money basically. But if you're going to do that, you have to pull the motor out anyway. So why don't you just spend an extra two minutes? and just replace the part that's damaged. It's the capacitor and they cost $30. So I fixed this screen for 30 bucks. That's it. I was so disappointed when I found out that um, they wouldn't sell me a capacitor and they wanted to basically charge me 450 bucks to fix it. So we pioneered, <laughs> that's done. Um, hopefully I'll get those videos out soon and I'm sure they'll be popular. So check that out if you've got a motorized screen because you never know, that might happen to you. Hopefully it won't. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be making another video on me doing my screen, replacing the capacitor in my screen because I know what to do now and I'll show you exactly what to do and how much easier it is. But uh, there you go, guys. I'm just gonna keep this one short. That's my two Screen Technic screens. I love them. Can't believe someone threw them away. And, uh, but I'm glad that they did, to be honest with you, because I have my dedicated home cinema iMac screen, basically, haven't I? Um, and Star Trek screen, oh, awesome. A-Team screen, the original Battlestar Galactica screen. I just, I could just keep going. But um, there you go, thanks for watching guys. Um, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.